Chapter 39 In the ninth year of Zedekiah king of Judah, in the tenth month, came Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, and all his army against Jerusalem, and they besieged it. And in the eleventh year of Zedekiah, in the fourth month, the ninth day of the month, the city was broken VP. And all the princes of the king of Babylon came in, and sat in the middle gate, you and Nergal Sharazer, Hanger Nebo, Sarsakim, Rabzeris, Nergal Sharazer, Rabmag, with all the residue of the princes of the king of Babylon. And it came to pass, eh, that when Zedekiah the king of Judah saw them and all the men of war, then they fled and went forth out of the city by night, by the way of the king's garden, by the gate betwixt the two walls. And he went out the way of the plain. But the Chaldeans' army pursued after them. And our took Zedekiah in the plains of Aericho. And when they had taken him, they brought him Phipi to Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon to Riblah in the land of Hamath, where he got judgment upon him. Then the king of Babylon slew the Sanis of Zedekiah in Riblah before his eyes. Also the king of Babylon slew all the nobles of Judah. Moreover he put out Zedekiah's eyes, and bound him with chains, to carry him to Babylon. And the Chaldeans burnt the king's house, and the houses of the people with fire, and then break down the walls of Jerusalem. Then Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard carried away capture into Babylon the remnant of the people that remained in the city. And those that fell away, that fell to him, with the rest of the people that remained. But Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard left of the poor of the people, which had nothing in the land of Judah, and got them vineyards and fieldies at the same time. Now Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon gau charged concerning Iaramiah to Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard, saying, Take him, and look well to him, and do him no harm. But dove unto him you and as he shall save unto thee. So Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard sent, and Nebuchadnezzar ben, Rabzaris, and Nergal Sherazer, Rabmag, and all the king of Babylon's princes. You and they sent, and took Iaramiah out of the court of the prison, and committed him unto Gedaliah the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, that he should carry him home. So he dwelt among the people. Now the word of the Lord came then to Aramiah, while he was shut VP in the court of the prison, saying, Go and speak to Abdmelech the Ethiopian, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring my words upon this city for you all, and not for good, and they shall be accomplished in that day before thee. But I will deliver thee in that day, saith the Lord, and thou shalt not be drawn into the hand of the men of whom thou art afraid. For I will surely deliver thee, and thou shalt not fall by the sword, but thy life shall be for a prey unto thee, because thou hast put thy trust in me, saith the Lord. Chapter 40 the word which came to Iaramiah for the Lord after that Nebuzaradan and the captain of the guard had let him go from Ramoth, when he had taken him being bound in chains among all that were carried away captive of Jerusalem and Judah, which were carried away captive into Babylon. And the captain of the guard took Iaramiah, and said unto him, The Lord thy God hath pronounced this you upon this place. Now the Lord hath brought it, and done according as he hath said, because he housened against the Lord and how not obeyed his voice, therefore this thing is come upon you. And now behold, I loose thee this day from the chains which were upon thine hand, if it seem good unto thee to come with me into Babylon, come, and I will look well unto thee, but if it seem ill unto thee to come with me into Babylon, forbear, behold, all the land is before thee, whither it seemeth good and conuniant for thee to go, thither go. Now while he was not yet gone back, he said, Go back also to Gedaliah the son of Ahikam the son of Shaphan, whom the king of Babylon hath made governor o'er all the cities of Judah, and dwell with him among the people, or go where sure it seemeth can you any infant thee to go. So the captain of the guard gow him vitals and a reward, and let him go. Then went Irene of Vinto Gedaliah the son of Ahikam to Mitzpah, and dwelt with him among the people that were left in the land. Now when all the captains of the forces which were in the fields, you and they and their men, 
heard that the king of Babylon had made Gedaliah the son of Ahikam governor in the land, and had committed Ventohim men, and women and children, and of the poor of the land of them that were not carried away Kapchi to Babylon. Then they came to Gedaliah to Mitzbah, you and Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, and Anan, and Anathan the sonies of Keriah, and Sarayat the son of Tanhumeth and the sonies of Ephe the Nedephethet, and Hesania the son of Amakathet, they and their men. And Gedaliah the son of Ahikam the son of Shaphan, swear unto them and to their men, saying, Fear not to Saru the Chaldeans, dwell in the land, and Saru the king of Babylon, and it shall dwell with you. As for me, behold, I will dwell at Mitzpah to Saru the Chaldeans, which will come then to verses. But ye gather ye wine, and summer fruits, and oil, and put them in your vessels, and dwell in your cities, that ye how taken. Likewise, when all the youths that were in Moab, and among the Ammonites, and in Adam, and that were in all the countries, heard that the king of Babylon had left a remnant of Judah, and that he had said o'er them Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan. You and all the youths returned out of all places whither they were dry in, and came to the land of Judah to get a life in Tomitzbah, and gathered wine and summer fruits very much. Moreover, Ion and the son of Caria, and all the captains of the forces that were in the fields, came to get a to Mitzbah, and said unto him, Dost thou certainly know that Balas the king of the Ammonites hath sent Ishmael the son of Nethaniah to slay thee? But Gedaliah the son of Ahikam blew them not. Then Ianan the son of Keriah spake to Gedaliah in Mitzbah secretly, saying, Let me go, I pray thee, and I will slay Ishmael the son of Nethaniah, and no man shall know it. Wherefore should he slay thee, that all the ewes which are gathered unto thee should be scattered, and the remnant in Judah perish? But Gedaliah the son of Ahikam said unto Ianan the son of Keriah, Thou shalt not do this thing. For thou speakest falsely of Ishmael. Chapter 41 Now it came to pass in the Suent Monith that Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, the son of Elishima of the seed royal, and the princes of the king, you and ten men with him, came vento Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, to Mitzbah, and there they did eat bread together in Mitzbah. Then rose Ishmael the son of Nethaniah, and the ten men that were with him, and smote Gedaliah the son of Ahikam the son of Shaphan with the sword, and slew him, whom the king of Babylon had made governor o'er the land. Ishmael also slew all the youths that were with him, Ewan with Gedaliah at Mitzbah, and the Chaldeans that were found there, and the men of war. And it came to pass the second day after he had slain Gedaliah, and no man knew it, that there came certain from Shechem, from Shiloh, and from Samarat, you and Forescore men, hawing their beards shone, and their clothes rent, and hawing cut themselves with offerings and incense in their hand, to bring them to the house of the Lord. And Ishmael the son of Nethaniah went forth from Mitzpah to meet them, weeping all along as he went. And it came to pass as he met them, he said vento them, Come to Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam. And it was so when they came into the midst of the city, that Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, slew them, and cast them into the midst of the pit, he and the men that were with him. But ten men were found among them, that said Vento Ishmael, Slay verses not, for we how treasures in the field of wheat, and of barley, and of oil, and of honey. So he forbear, and slew them not among their brethren. Now the pit wherein Ishmael had cast all the dead bodies of the men, whom he had slain because of Gedaliah, was it which Asa the king had made for fear of Basha king of Israel? And Ishmael the son of Nethaniah filled it with them that were slain. Then Ishmael carried away capture all the residue of the people that were in Mitzpah, you and the king's daughters, and all the people that remained in Mitzpah, whom Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard had committed to Gedaliah the son of Ahikam. 
And Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, carried them away captive and departed to go over to the Ammonites. But when Iahanan, the son of Kariah, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, heard of all the yield that Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, had done, then they took all the men and went to fight with Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, and found him by the great waters that are in Gibeon. Now it came to pass a that when all the people which were with Ishmael, saw Ahanan the son of Kariah, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, then they were glad. So all the people that Ishmael had carried away captured from Mitzbah cast about and returned, and went vento Ahanan the son of Kariah. But Ishmael the son of Nethaniah escaped from Ahanan with eight men, and went to the Ammonites, then took Ahanan the son of Kariah, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, all the remnant of the people whom he had recovered from Ishmael the son of Nethaniah from Mitzbah, after that he had slain Gedaliah the son of Ahikam, you and mighty men of war, and the women, and the children, and the eunuchs whom he had brought again from Gibeon. And they departed and dwelt in the habitation of Chimam, which is by Bethlehem, to go to enter into Egypt, because of the Chaldeans, for they were afraid of them, because Ishmael the son of Nethaniah had slain Gedaliah the son of Ahikam, whom the king of Babylon made governor in the land. Chapter 42 Then all the captains of the forces, and Ahanan the son of Kariah, and Hazaniah the son of Hoshea, and all the people from the least Jew and Vento the greatest, king near, and said Vento Aramiah the prophet, Let we beseech thee, our supplication be accepted before thee. And pray for verses then to the Lord thy God, you and for all this remnant. For we are left but a few of many, as thine eyes do behold verses. That the Lord thy God may shew verses the way wherein we may walk, and the thing that we may do. Then Aramiah the prophet said Vento them, I how heard you behold, I will pray Vento the Lord your God, according to your words. And it shall come to pass say that whatsoever thing the Lord shall answer you, I will declare it Vento you, I will keep nothing back from you. Then they say to Aramiah, The Lord be a true and faithful witness between verses, if we do not. You in according to all things for the which the Lord thy God shall send thee to verses. Whether it be good, or whether it be you all, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God, to whom we send thee, that it may be well with verses, when we obey the voice of the Lord our God. And it came to pass a after ten days, that the word of the Lord came unto Aramiah, then called he Ahan and the son of Kariah, and all the captains of the forces which were with him, and all the people, from the least, even to the greatest. And said unto them, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, then to whom ye sent me to present your supplication before him, if ye will still abide in this land, then will I build you, and not pull you down, and I will plant you, and not pluck you VP. For I repent me of the you will, that I how done unto you. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom ye are afraid, be not afraid of him, saith the Lord, for I am with you to saw you, and to deliver you from his hand, and I will shew mercies unto you, that he may how mercy fun you, and cause you to return to your own land. But if ye say, We will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of the Lord your God, saying, No, but we will go into the land of Egypt, where we shall see no war nor hear the sound of the trumpet, nor how hunger of bread, and there will we dwell. And now therefore hear the word of the Lord, ye remnant of Judah, the saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, if ye wholly set your faces to enter into Egypt, and go to Soren there. Then it shall come to pass a, that the sword which ye feared, shall o'ertake you there in the land of Egypt. And the famine whereof ye were afraid shall follow close after you in Egypt, and there ye shall die. So shall it be with all the men that set their faces to go into Egypt to soar in there. They shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. And none of them shall remain or escape from the yule that I will bring upon them. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. 
as mine anger and my fury have been empowered forth upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so shall my fury be powered forth upon you when ye shall enter into Egypt, and ye shall be an execration, and an astonishment, and a curse, and a reproach, and ye shall see this place no more. The Lord hath said concerning you, O ye remnant of Judah, go ye not into Egypt, no certainly that I how admonished you this day. For ye dissembled in your hearts when ye sent me vinto the Lord your God, saying, Pray for verses vinto the Lord our God, and according vinto all that the Lord our God shall say, so declare vinto verses, and we will do it. And now I how this day declared it to you, but ye how not obeyed the voice of the Lord your God, nor any thing for the which he hath sent me vinto you. Now therefore know certainly, that ye shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, in the place whither ye desire to go and to Soyern.